This is Alan Lazard from Iowa State, wide receiver. You're watching Fanatics View. Um, you know, Iowa State, it didn't really go as planned, um, I would say, especially the first few years. Um, there's a lot of losses, uh, a lot of tough times, but, you know, I think this last season um, made it all all worth it. Um, you know, just putting in the work with the guys we did this off season, and to go out there this, this year and to be able to showcase our talents and to, uh, to pull off the wins that we did and to finish the season the way that we did, almost something very special to me and um, something very very true to my heart and something that I will forever cherish. Yeah, you know, I, I think that we were a little bit um, underrated. Um, you know, I think that we've always had talent, but this year I think we, we put used to it um, in a very, very good way. So, uh, you know, a lot of teams came into the game underestimating um, what we could do, both offensively, defensively, and on special teams. You know, obviously, no, no one Baker was going to be here, and uh, he'd be my quarterback. You know, I wasn't really sure if he'd like just throw the ball at my feet or like you know not even throw me the ball and whatnot. So, um, you know, I was a little little bit nervous on on that part um, to start off. But you know, I think we've had a great connection throughout this whole week, and I'd love to have him as my quarterback in the NFL. It's hard for me to like to judge that just because you know I wasn't even a part of the game really. Um, I know if I, that was me that it happened to, I would have incentive for the next time that we played them for sure. Um, so I think it kind of just lit a, uh, lit a fire in between them. I wouldn't say there's necessarily a rivalry, um, especially just because, you know, the whole Oklahoma, Texas, and Ohio State, Michigan. But um, I think it's definitely going to be a bloodbath for the next time they play. The number one receiver I love to watch is Mike Evans. Um, I think him and I resemble um, our body types. Um, and I definitely style my play after him, just the way that he goes up and gets the ball through traffic, um, how, how aggressive he plays every single play, and um, just uses his size to his advantage. Um, this, this week has been awesome. You know, um, I didn't start off too well um, day one just because I, I hadn't really ran uh, much since our bowl game, which is about 23, 24 days ago. But, um, you know, like I said, I didn't start too off, off too well. Getting used to the, these quarterbacks who are throwing a lot harder than when, um, my college quarterback did. Um, you know, I'm just getting used to the plays and stuff. But I think the past two days, um, Wednesday and Thursday, um, I was able to elevate my game and to keep it rolling. Yeah, yeah. Um, top to bottom, I think they're a great group of guys. You know, I think they'll definitely have a, a – a chance to play at the next level and, and hopefully a long career. Um, the arm talent's unreal, just their accuracy and um, the velocity that becomes comes behind their balls, especially Josh's. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, I don't look too much in the future. You know, I kind of just focus on the now, the present, um, just what I can control right now, and that's just you know just to perform as best as I can in the Senior Bowl tomorrow. Um, and then, you know, obviously going into the combine and pro day. And, you know, once, once I get to whatever team um, decides to pick me, um, obviously, you know, just to, to be, be the best player I can be and help them win. And, you know, obviously have, have a long career in the NFL and hopefully make a couple of Pro Bowls and, uh, and whatnot. But get a couple of Super Bowl rings would be nice as well. Um, but well, like I said, I, I'm not too worried about, you know, the longevity of my career at this moment. Just focusing on t today and, and tomorrow.